Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build your first decentralized application on the Ethereum blockchain. And I'm gonna show you the most updated way to do this for 2019. So it's the beginning of the new year and I wanted to kind of you know, just update things to show you all the best way to do this now because the technology has changed so much. So before we do that, be sure to subscribe to this channel and click the like button down below. And also, you can download my courses for free on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash free download. So what I want to talk about today is actually an update for 2019 for one of my most popular tutorials where I show you how to build your first decentralized application on the Ethereum blockchain step by step. And I released this tutorial about a year ago that's gotten you know really popular. People really liked it. A lot of people come to my website, and I even released a step-by-step -step article that shows you how to build this you know decentralized application um, in a written form to accompany the video. So a lot's changed in a year, and I've updated this code to include all the changes um, you know to the Solidity programming language, like the Truffle framework, and things like that. I've got a lot of emails from people saying, "Hey, this doesn't work anymore, or this need, you know needs to be fixed." And so I've done all that, and I've I'm going to walk you through all that in this video. So what you want to do is head over to GitHub in order to find this code. I haven't pushed it up just yet, so it'll be, either be on the master branch. Uh, or maybe on a new branch for 2019. It kind of depends on what people want. So I'll put a link down in the description below to where you all can find the code for this video. And I'll walk you through that right now. So uh, the first thing you'll want to do in order to kind of update your project is you pull down those changes. And the first thing you want to do once you've done that is you want to actually update um, you know, the dependencies for the project. This is a JavaScript dependencies for, for Node uh, JS node package manager. So what I'll actually do is I will just uh, open this project and kind of show you some of those changes. So I'll pull those up right here. And the first thing you know we want to look at is go to the package.json uh, file. So what I've done is actually locked the version of Truffle. So Truffle's changed a lot in the last year. Um, you know, Truffle's the smart contract development framework that we use to build the decentralized application in this tutorial. So I've actually locked this at Truffle uh, 5.0. And I've got some other videos that talk about you know, Truffle um, and the changes that have happened whenever the framework has you know, kind of rolled out new versions. Um, but the big thing is like this supports you know, Web3.js 1.0, uh, things like that new versions of the Solidity programming language. Um, and I've locked the version of Light Server for running the um, you know, development uh, server to order to serve the web application that we build in the tutorial. So what you want to do to get those changes is make sure you have you know, the latest version of Truffle installed. You know, most of you do whenever you come to uh, you know, do this tutorial. You, you know, Google it, you download Truffle, like you're following off the video, and you just get the latest version. So you could just do uh, uh, npm install in order to pick up the Truffle version, but you can also just check your Truffle version like this, a Truffle version, uh, to make sure that you're using you know, at least Truffle version 5. So you can see that here. Um, so what I would recommend doing when you pull this down is remove your node modules to rm-rf node modules. And once that's completed, I would install all of the node uh, package dependencies again. So you just run npm install once you've removed them, pull out all the old ones that might be in there, and just do a fresh install of all the new node packages um, to ensure that you've got everything you need and that the versions are at the right version. Okay. So uh, that'll help you, you know, ensure that you're using all the right uh, version of Truffle and things like that. The uh, next thing you want to know is that, you know, Solidity has changed a lot. Solidity is the programming language used to write Ethereum smart contracts. And, um, you know, it's seen several version changes, you know, minor changes over the past year, even a major version change. So, um, you know, we're on version 0 0.5 plus now. We were, I think we started on 0 0.4, maybe 1.6 whenever I did the tutorial. Um, maybe a little bit later, something like that. But um, you'll see, you, you might have seen a lot of compiler warnings or even errors whenever you're trying to compile the tutorial code. And a lot of people have kind of gotten past those on their own. But I wanted to address those and I'll show you the, what you need to do in order to update your project to do that as well. So the first thing is, um, I actually um, 
changed the truffle configuration file. So the truffle configuration file, you know, specifies um, a lot of stuff, like your network connection. You can also specify the Solidity compiler and things like that. So I've actually moved this file. In older versions of Truffle, there could be two files, truffle.js or truffle-config.js. And one was for Windows and one was for non-Windows systems, so they didn't conflict, uh, sorry, didn't conflict with the uh, Truffle executable. So I've actually um, just changed that so that everyone uses truffle-config.js, which is the new Truffle 5 convention. Um, so this should help Windows users if you've been running into this problem. So I moved that file in here, and inside of here, I've actually specified the Solidity version. So everyone needs to use uh, Solidity 0.4.25. And whenever you compile your smart contracts, if you don't have that, Truffle will actually pull that compiler version down from the web uh, whenever you're compiling your smart contracts, okay? So the next changes are actually in the Solidity source code. So um, if you go to your contracts directory, I've actually you know, bumped this to Solidity 0.4.25 and I've locked the version here inside the file. And I've addressed some common warnings that come up, uh, like the constructor function. You know, in the new versions of Solidity, um, you, d you declare a constructor like this um, with the uh, you know, constructor keyword here. You used to have a function that was the same name as the smart contract, but now that's changed, so I've updated that. And also, um, you know, there's been some other changes that I, I did inside of here. I actually can't remember everything that I did, but uh, I've, I've eliminated all the warnings. You can check the diff on GitHub if you want to kind of see more. So there were also some issues inside the older migrations files. So I've updated that, like, you know, the constructor needed to change, needed to add some visibility to these functions that are inside the migration contract. So um, that should be fixed. All right, so... That should solve most of your problems, okay? Now, I would run this again uh, to double check that everything's working properly. So what you can do is make sure you've got Ganache running, all right? And you can pull Ganache down like this. You know, Ganache is the uh, local development blockchain that we use in the tutorial. So you want to make sure Ganache is, you know, running. You've got Ether in your accounts and things like that. Um, so whenever you do that, you want to, you know, change the smart contracts to truffle migrate dash dash reset. Just in case you have any smart contracts on the blockchain, you'll want to use the new version. And you may even want to restart Ganache um, if you made any changes to these, this code and the Solidity compiler and things like that. So you'll see the new Truffle version 5 output, which looks a lot nicer. It gives you a lot more information about your deployment, like the smart contract address um, and just some other info about, you know, what happened during the deployment. So those um, worked properly. You can also check to see if your smart contract is compiled correctly in this stage. You'll probably get some errors if you made any mistakes trying to make a version update. So now let's start the development server just to make sure that the app works correctly. So I'll say uh, npm run start, I believe is what we have configured in the project. Actually, it's uh, probably npm run dev. Let's take a look. Yep, so npm run dev. So will probably open a new browser window for us. Yep, it did. All right, so now we see uh, the election candidate results. So inside of here, what you'll want to do um, is make sure you're connected to the network, um, the Ganache blockchain network with MetaMask. So once you've got MetaMask installed, I would change networks um, and go to you know this local host 7545 or whatever port you've configured Ganache to run on. And then I would go ahead and reset your account to make sure that everything works properly. So I'd go here to your settings and um, click reset account. This will actually clear all the uh, transaction history inside of your account and reset the nonce, which is a big issue people have. They say, oh, I can't make any transactions. Well, that's because sometimes when you switch to the main network and then the other networks where you restart Ganache or something like that, it'll keep your uh, uh, nonce, which is basically keeps track of how many transactions you've made and which transactions they were. Um, that'll say cache inside of MetaMask and it'll just cause an error. So make sure you reset your account and I'll refresh this page and let's just make sure we can vote again. Let's make sure the app works. So I'll click candidate one, I'll click vote. I'll sign the transaction with MetaMask. Confirm. All right, it worked. 
So that's a pretty good overview of everything that's changed for this tutorial in 2019. Again, I'll put the link down in the description below for this new code and where you can find it so that you can uh, follow along with this tutorial. I'll probably also put the link to this video and the updated code in their original video description so that uh, people can find this who are having issues with this code in this tutorial. So I uh, hope you all like this video. Again, you can download my courses for free on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash free download. And also be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the thumbs up button so that you can see more videos for free from this channel and so that more people can learn how to build blockchain technology. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.